Ringville episode, Jackie Go. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Kevin Herrera Sanchez, KHS, and today I have the absolute pleasure of sitting down with someone who's wrestled at Pro Wrestling Magic, Project Nova, Fight Back Wrestling, and is the current Central Wrestling Germany Women's Champion. Jackie Go, how's it going? I'm fine, thank you so much for having me. When I saw that you were in the States for a Pro Wrestling Magic show, especially the kind of match that you were in, I was like, oh, I would like to talk to you just to hear about <laughs> everything that you were talking about in the match. You're from Germany, born and raised. Yes. Yep. What's the wrestling scene like over there? Um, I would say completely different mm -hmm. when it comes to being with contract. Like you're not signed basically. Okay. You're independent contractors mm -hmm. and you have to fight for your spots mm -hmm. and try just to make your own way. Okay. We have several promotions like mm -hmm. WXW, Fight Back, mm -hmm. uh, Project Nova, of course, and um, Central Wrestling Germany. Yeah. But we don't have like this WWE mm -hmm. or AEW contract start. Oh, so it's more like per booking day. Yes. Appearance wise. Yes. Okay. So it's like, how do you navigate that world? Like, like you said, you have to like kind of make your own way, right? So how did you do it? Um, I. I think I went a little different way because I was trained at WXW mm -hmm. at the academy to a certain extent and then I moved from my normal life job okay. and started training somewhere else mm -hmm. and debuted there but also got a little involved in the booking. Okay. So I had a, I don't know whether a better base or at least a different base. Mm -hmm. and. I had a huge influence on how I would debut. Okay, oh, interesting. Uh, normally you would debut as a face, but I debuted as a heel, yeah. which is more kind of natural for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. And then I had some contacts to some other guys I knew from years back mm -hmm. and just started texting and getting them involved in our promotion. And, that's how it went mm -hmm. down. What about it? What about being a heel draws you or feels more natural? You don't have to be the good girl. You have to be in everyday life. Mm -hmm. Like I always had to be the good daughter, the good sister, mm -hmm. the good neighbor, everything. Mm -hmm. Always just be the nice girl, the nice girl. No matter what happens to you, mm -hmm. how, no matter how people treat you, you have to be the good one. Because otherwise you're the one freaking out. If someone treats you bad, you're not allowed to say anything, mm -hmm. and you're the bitch. Mm -hmm. And now I'm just like, okay, I'm that bitch. Bring it. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can do whatever I want, and I can yell, I can shout, I can slap them in the face, kick them in the nuts. I don't give a damn. <laughs> yeah, no, I get you, I get you. I let you. it out. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, you do call yourself the boss bitch babe. <laughs> So it's like that's where you kind of incorporate that healness to it, where it's like I can do whatever I want. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, in Germany, wrestling airs on Sky TV. Right? So it's like, um, was it mainly just WWE that you would watch? Yes, I started with w WWF back then. Oh, F. And <laughs> I'll get the F out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah get, get the F out. <laughs> I was like watching it as a little child mm -hmm. and. Last then, then came puberty and I started watching again and mm -hmm. I was amazed by the women standing up for themselves Absolutely. and just, yeah. yeah, and then at one point I turned into the European scene, mm -hmm. visited the first WXW events and, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, there was a time around like 2015 to like 2018 when the European scene was really, really making a lot of noise. Yeah. Was there a sort of excitement whenever you went to a show? Back then it was really the show, the, the time when I was visiting many shows. Mm -hmm. And we had Alistair Black back then. Yes. yes yeah. Tommy Ant. <laughs> yeah. No, and all those great guys, Absolute Andy, Carsten Beck, like the mm -hmm. German big ones, Beck, Bad Bones, they passed away. It's sad, but yeah. it was a big, big time back then in Germany. And it was amazing just also getting the fly-ins from everywhere. We had big stars, Adam Cole was there. 
Uh, yeah, that's when I first started. <laughs> ricochet. Ricochet was there, yeah. Amazing. Mm -hmm. and yeah, no, because like, everyone would just do that circuit because it was yes. so popular and it was like the fans were so incredible because they always make so much noise. Yeah. It's like all the shows seem like a, like a good time. The atmosphere and like being in the crowd was like amazing, mm -hmm. feeling the energy. Is, yeah. Yeah. So what, a, what are some like chants that like only German crowds do? Auf die Fresse. It's like uh -huh. auf die Fresse, uh -huh. auf die Fresse. And what does that mean? What does that mean? Beat them up, beat, beat them, them up. up. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. So, so when WWE goes to Germany in like two, three months, that we might hear that. Yeah, definitely in a Gunter Walter match. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I get you, I get you. <laughs> when watching like WWF and then WWE, who were some of your favorites that like really stuck out to you? I always loved Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler? Yeah. yeah. Just the package. Like he's mm -hmm. he's got everything. Absolutely. Then of course Chris Jericho back then. Mm -hmm. um, back from the first female wrestlers. Lita, Trish, yeah. Miss, yeah, Jacqueline, is, they, are, they were all so amazing and inspiring. And Eddie Guerrero, yeah. obviously. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that were mainly those who I love to watch. And of course, The Rock. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can, you can never How can go I, wrong. Not, yeah. like, <laughs> no, absolutely, you can never go wrong with The Rock. It's like, he's like in so many people's like just favorite top five, top three. Yes. Like, wrestlers of all time. When was your first time coming to the U.S. for wrestling? I came here first for training in January last year. January of last year? Yes. And you trained where exactly? I was with friends at ECPW. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I think it was, no, it was then in summer again. I also went to Cheeseburgers. Che oh, okay. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. nice. <laughs> How was the training sessions like? Because you were moving from a whole different country, right? And then you're, because how long were you here for training? In January for one week mm -hmm. and in summer three weeks. Three just weeks? Now, yes. Um, it's different when it comes to, like, in Germany we have beginners, mm -hmm. intermediate, advanced. Okay. And here you just have the complete mixture in one class mm -hmm. and everybody would just go like of, of course they take care that you can do the basics yeah. but it's more free I feel here okay the drills um, like they teach you the drills but it's you have a lot more on the fly thing on the here. fly yeah. where it's like hey we're gonna do this room so it's like they'll show you how to do something and then they'll bring two students in the ring to do it yes interesting and they don't really do that in Germany they do, but only like with the maybe close to advanced, but definitely advanced class. Mm -hmm. And here it's, it feels more common to mix it up. Okay, got you, got you, got you. So, so you train here for twice, right? You train in January and then in the summer. And then when were you also getting bookings here at the time? No, I wasn't with. Um, in talks with Steve off mm -hmm. because I was also here in December. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, but something got mixed up and I took a really bad bump uh -huh. at my last show in December in Germany, so I couldn't even bump here. Oh, okay. <laughs> so my training in December was chaining only, mm -hmm. but it was great, so. <laughs> nice. But yeah. What was the bump that you took? I was supposed to land on a table, uh -huh. but she threw me on the edge, Ooh. and my ribs uh, hurt a little, and also like shortly before the elbow, it was like all black and blue. And oh, okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> what is it like recovering from like an injury where it's like you can't really bump? Interesting. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was painful. Mm -hmm. But like the elbow bothered me more and longer yeah. um, because I think I bounced back quite well with the ribs. <laughs> <It's like laughs> a, that one hit me well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the flight was a little rough sitting there for eight hours. Like this. Oh, but right. yeah, I was I was okay. I think in February again. So. Okay. Also, like two months. You were kind of down for like two months. I did bump, but. Mm -hmm. You gotta take it easy. Yeah. <laughs> I get you. 
what is it like being a woman's champion in a promotion? Is there some sort of pressure or is there some sort of like confidence boost that comes with it? It's pressure. It's pressure? Yeah. I wasn't originally planned for that spot, so mm -hmm. it's like, uh, okay, I want to give it away as soon as possible again. <laughs> uh -huh. Didn't work out. The girl had to cancel too, and like, oh, now I'm going with this. And yeah. Like, I'm the undeserving champ, so we just keep it that way. Okay. It makes it easier. Uh -huh. I cheat. Yeah, you, like, you heal like, it up, you know? Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> like, if I was a baby face, it would be more difficult gotcha. to keep it, so. Yeah. But, you know, okay. you get to cheat, you know, DQ wins, like. Yeah. You, know, you get away with it. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> what's, what's that day like when you said it wasn't supposed to happen? So it's like, what's the day of where they tell you, hey, look, things have changed and now you're going to win the title. What are your feelings there? It's the promotion where I'm also involved in the booking. Okay. And it was a common decision mm -hmm. with someone not stepping up and improving. Okay. And also not doing promos well. Gotcha. And we needed that, mm -hmm. like at least be entertaining yeah. and put things put over. On a show. Yes, it was hard. <laughs> um, I was like, I talked to the other guys and mm -hmm. like, yeah, that's the best decision. And then I was like, yeah, okay, but next show March, you yeah. know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. just give it away again. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, and it, it didn't you're still out. champion now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, have you been taking that championship to other promotions as well, or is it, is it just mainly stay in Central? I defended it in Bavaria at uh -huh. another promotion, okay. the adding wrestling show. Um, I think it was in March. And I also took it to Nova. Mm -hmm. Not to defend it, but to use it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little uh, distraction with mm -hmm. the belt, uh, yeah. The match where I first saw you that was announced was Pro Wrestling Magic, where you had a triple threat steel cage match. And we were talking off camera where you were saying that was your first triple, I mean, that was your first steel cage match ever. What was that like? It was crazy. Uh -huh. like, I didn't know until it was announced mm -hmm. that it would be a steel cage match. Okay. I was booked singles match, mm -hmm. one on one, and then everything changed. And I was looking at Facebook at night, yeah. and everything on the card that had been announced so far was changed to steel cage. And I was like, they won't let me go out with that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The next day it was announced, steel cage, and I'm, mm -hmm. well. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh -huh. You're like, yikes. And, <laughs> yeah, and I texted my, my friends like, uh -huh. oh, I'm screwed. And yeah, what to do? Like, and some of them gave me some tips and okay. advice mm -hmm. how to go with it. Yeah. What were some of the tips you were given? Just throw them in the, into the cage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just, <laughs> just throw them. <laughs> Do what you would do as a heel. Do what just yeah. be heelish, fall in the cage, and yeah, get it involved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, was there certain aspects of your move set that you had to change because you were wrestling in a cage? Definitely. Like one of my signature moves is mm -hmm. a, a baseball slide to the outside, dragging her with me. No chance. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go outside, yeah. Baseball slide into the cage, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> so, were you also watching other steel cage matches just to kind of prepare for those? Of course. Yeah. What were some of the matches you watched? Yeah, of course, some WWE steel uh -huh. cage matches. Um, I watched um, a WXW steel cage match yeah. um, from Axel Tischer, Alexander Wolf mm -hmm. versus Carnage. Nice. Um, is an older match, but I was like, yeah, that was good. I saw it live back then. <laughs> nice. mm -hmm. Yeah, and I know both guys, so I know it's 
good qualities. <laughs> <laughs> no, for sure. Alexander, his time in, um, in WWE was once they kicked him out of like um, sanity. insanity and then he was also an Imperium for a little bit. Yeah. Right. But I think they could have done a lot more with him. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Like they were um, Walter back then and the guys, they were ring camp mm -hmm. in WXW in Germany and it was promoted so well and then it got into Imperium yeah. and I don't know why. It's sad, like so much potential in having him with that. Yeah. Do you ever talk to Alexander Wolf and just kind of pick his brain about wrestling since he's been so in so many places? I booked him to do a seminar at our um, rebranding show last year. Mm -hmm. So we were in contact yeah. and he's a great teacher. I had some classes with him too back then and I know that very, like he has his own school now okay. in Germany. Yes. So I also booked those guys and a really tough girl from there. <laughs> It's just good quality. Like that's the good thing about him leaving WWE. Yeah. He's giving so much back now in Germany with training other people. It's His amazing. His school is set up in like uh, in Dresden. Yeah. Dresden. Yeah. So it's like there is it is it now becoming more of like of a wrestling hub there? They have quite yeah. It's like you have WXW and the academy, mm -hmm. and on that side. Yeah. And then there's an Alexander Wolf from Wrestling School Dresden on the other side. It's like, and they, they are connected somehow. Okay. It's, it's awesome. Nice. They work together. Yes. Nice. In terms of you getting into creative, was that something that you wanted to do? Like our promotion was a little rough mm -hmm. when I first met them. Like I saw the potential okay. and it was a little, I don't know how to say it. The quality wasn't what it could have been okay. because some manipulative stuff was going on. Mm -hmm. And that's when I was like, you guys, I didn't plan to go into creative, yeah. but I had to get involved to... Like to push them to be a little better at it. Yes. I was always like, you guys, I got this one. I know that one. Have you seen him? And they were like, yeah, we'll contact them, blah, mm -hmm. blah. Nothing happened. Okay. <laughs> and one day, some guys were sleep, having a sleepover at my place, mm -hmm. and we had that show. And I just like, here they are, use them. Okay. <laughs> and that's how it started, yeah. That's and then awesome. the, the booker um, quit, and someone followed up, and mm -hmm. I, I'm involved. And... Okay. But it's fun. Yeah? It's a puzzle. Who matches with who? Uh huh. <laughs> also, like figuring out who works better with who. Yeah. So, like, what are you, what are things you look for when deciding that? For certain people, I don't put them in storylines, but just in good matches because I know they are not always available. Okay. So I know for sure they can work with everybody. Mm -hmm. So I put them in good matches, and some people, like our people, they have to learn. So I put them with experience. Okay, people yeah. so they and, can pick their brains and talk to them yes mm -hmm. you have to continuously learn and then that's the progress i think yeah. and of course main event has always to be awesome i love seeing yuva wrestle uh -huh. all this like we had alex kane and oh, vertigo nice. yeah he always have like when lsg comes around he's always welcome mm -hmm. you just talked about like um Sometimes you don't put people in, in stories because you just want good matches. Like when I was watching your matches, I realized that you were not only really good at wrestling, you were also really good at playing to the crowd. So is that something that came natural to you or did you pick up on that as you kept training? You get a piece of advice from every, like in training and everything, like how you can do it, but you have to feel it. Like if you don't feel the, the crowd, it's hard. You can always have like this one or two things that you randomly do, mm -hmm. but it's better to have a connection with that guy in the front row who keeps mocking you yeah. and like, 
<laughs> you know, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's how you do it or uh -huh. something. I, and it feels like at Project Nova, it feels so natural doing that or also at my promotion. Mm -hmm. um, it's just, it's so much fun okay. getting them pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yeah. Is there something that you've picked on that just like always works to get the crowd like mad? Yeah, I started doing the chop. Uh -huh. Oh, another one. No thing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I won't do it that often, but mm -hmm. it usually works. It, it, yes. You, you save it for when you need it. Like, okay, let me. Yeah. One of the things you also do is you do a lot of yoga. Yes. Um, how much does yoga help when it comes to like keep staying healthy for wrestling? It mostly keeps me healthy in oh, my head. Yeah. Okay, okay, no, yeah, that's, that's very fair. Yeah, that's very valid. You know, if you know wrestling, you know it's like a dirty little thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> I get you, yeah. And you have to stay focused, always connect with yourself. And if mm -hmm. you connect with yourself, you can connect, connect with the crowd. Like, that's basically... Oh. Oh, that was deep, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, so you have to focus on your match, and that helps a lot, like having a clear mind and also breathing and release the stress before a show okay. um, helps a lot. And of course, your spine needs to be flexible all the time. That's true. You need to stretch, otherwise, your muscles won't work anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, do you like meditate or like do breathing exercises before every match that you try to do? Not before every, but mm -hmm. I try as often as I can. Okay. Yeah. Especially the breathing because I'm really high when it comes to getting nervous. Uh -huh. When I hear the crowd out. You start uh, getting the jitters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, is, do you do something to kind of relax you or are you just kind of like, I'm gonna just go out there? I focus on exhaling. Exhaling? Yeah. It helps with anxiety. Mm -hmm. So you inhale and then let it all out. Okay. Like <laughs> just letting... Yeah. Kind of letting, yeah. I notice while watching your matches that you do the unprettier. Are you a big fan of Christian Cage? Or did you get that just from somewhere else? It was from Christian Cage. Christian Cage? Yeah. I loved Edge and Christian. Uh -huh. So... Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Like early 2000s when they were in the TLC matches. What about, what about Christian drew you to him? Um, he's very charismatic mm -hmm. and you always have like the tag teams that split and one guy gets over big star yeah. and the other guy is mostly undervalued. Okay. And he found his way to the top of TNA and yep. Absolutely. Now AEW, he was really doing great, and mm -hmm. um, I found him so funny when he always freaked out when the pinfall didn't work. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his overreactions were always. <laughs> yes, I, I, and I like the unpretty. Like no girl does it in Germany, so. Oh, so that's, that's a little. He was like, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, okay. you have to stand out. Mm -hmm. so. what, what are some of the other ways you've? Seem to stand out. Yeah, I'm doing also like a suplex, roll through, um, mm -hmm. butterfly release suplex variation. Okay. Yes. Um, and the baseball slide thing. The baseball that, slide. That's for move sets, but, yeah. and the high knee. I cannot forget my corner high knee. Yeah. I smashed Reka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. Absolutely did. <laughs> um, yeah, otherwise it's just, I think, when it comes to having a solid character mm -hmm. in Germany, that's what many girls don't have. Like okay. they don't really do promos, they don't talk. Mm -hmm. um, often it's also like the given time. Yeah. They cannot present themselves as they should. Mm -hmm. Like they should get the same time as men, have the same people help them with character work and stuff. But it's barely done, and yeah. It doesn't always happen. Yes. Before we started rolling, you talked about attending SmackDown at Madison Square Garden. 
and you talked about how somebody stopped you and your friend and they asked you if you ever worked that project Nova. So that, and then they was like, hey, you worked this match because they recognized you from a match. What is that like being seen in a whole nother state, country and state and it's like, oh, I've seen your work in Germany. It was the weirdest moment of my life. Mm -hmm. Like I was there as a fan in my tourist clothes, like, <laughs> and I never expected something like that happening. Okay. And she was like, I was just talking to my friend. I'm not gonna have a mark out moment today. <laughs> and then she was like, oh. and after she left, I was like, holy. What just happened? I was like, I was freaking out over her freaking out. <laughs> it was right, so yeah. funny, and I um, immediately contact, like, send a voicemail to mm -hmm. um, the booker of Project Nova. Like, you never guessed what just happened. Thank you so much for putting me over like yeah. that. Like, it was amazing. Absolutely, yeah. No. What are some of your wrestling goals? Yeah, of course, I want to do WXW sometime. Okay. But I know it's got to be my work matching their needs. Mm -hmm. Like, that's always the thing. You have to um, be in the right time, be in the right spot, right time, everything. And otherwise, I just want to travel the world a little more. Travel the world a little yeah. more? Yeah. Where would you want to go? Maybe some northern countries, mm -hmm. Denmark, Sweden. Yeah, or also Ireland or England. Nice. Well, thank you very much for sitting down with me. It was a pleasure thank talking to you. Thank you so much for having no, me. No, absolutely. <laughs> no, thank, thank you. Thank, thank you. Well, and thank you, Nick Shin. Oh, shout out to Nick Shin because he definitely helped. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Nick Shin. Well, all right, everyone. Until next time, we're out. <laughs>